Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my channel and today's video where I am going to show you guys how to fix the balcony that comes with eco lifestyle. So in the neutral neighbourhood of Evergreen Harbour, there's this one apartment that you pay extra for pretty much to have a balcony, but before this was released, the Sims team had to remove access to that balcony. You can't place anything down on there. And it is slightly annoying because you're like, okay, well, what am I paying the extra rent for if I can't actually use the balcony? However, it kind of made sense when you read through why it was removed. There was routing issues with Sims. They were using the door as the front door, which means they would just let themselves into your apartment randomly. And it also just glitched out. So they just removed you from being able to place anything. But there is a fix which comes in the form of a mod. So unfortunately, this is only available to PC players. Sorry to console players out there. We don't know if this is gonna be fixed officially by the team. Fingers crossed they can get the bugs ironed out and like eventually we may have access to that balcony. But this is the tool mod by Twisted Mexi. So this is where you guys are gonna have to start. It takes objects off lot and the balcony is pretty much off lot. Like it's not part of the grid of your apartment. You cannot build on it whatsoever. So the tool, what is tool? Well, tool takes objects off lot. It's a way to give players more real estate for objects and gives you 100% control over the objects positions and rotation on or off the lot. So here we are in The Sims 4 and as you can see this is the apartment that I'm talking about. It's in the neutral neighborhood and it's one of these like three blocks over here. This is the only one that's livable. So you have this apartment which is slightly smaller so I guess like the price discrepancy is based on like square feet or whatever but as you can tell there is absolutely no grid on here and say when I try and get a solar panel can't make changes outside of owned area. So technically your Sims don't own this area. So first off, what you're gonna wanna do is control shift C, bring up your cheats. And then you're gonna wanna put testing cheats on and you're also gonna put move objects on. So bb.move objects on. Let's turn that on and then control shift C, get rid of that because if you place the solar panel here, it's saying it must be outside. So there's a way to get around this. You can kind of place it like halfway between this wall and it kind of just like exists between this wall. It counts as outside apparently. And then what you're gonna do is go into live mode to actually access the tool mod. You're gonna shift, hold down shift on your keyboard and then click the object, which is also known as a shift click and you once you've downloaded the mod you'll have the tool option so what I do is click tool you can let go of shift at this point and then you're going to want to toggle active object which turns it green which means you can now move this object. So then what you're gonna do, depending on where you want to place it, you're gonna kind of hazard a guess as best you can. So this seems like kind of in the middle and then you shift click on the floor where you want to move it to. You're gonna hit tool options and you're gonna say move active object here, boom. As you can tell, it's kind of like cutting through a bit. So if it does tend to cut through, I just do the exact same thing. I kind of move it and then basically just move it out a little bit. So you are gonna have to like play around with it, see which is the best area and line it up as best as possible. Again, that isn't like lined up 100% as to where I would want it. So that's kind of, perfect. I mean, there's a little bit at the back, but I feel like that's the closest we're going to get. So it definitely takes a little bit of like fiddling to get it exactly how you want it to be. And then once you've kind of got it in an area that you're happy with, you're going to shift click on the object. Once again, you're going to hit tool and toggle active object. So that gets rid of the green and then your sim can still come out here. So we will have my sim 
walk over to this balcony area. So the balcony is technically usable in the sense that Sims can walk out on it, but you can't place anything down on it. So it's kind of useless. And then we can interact with this object as perfectly normal. It just acts as a regular object. I have upgraded in my eco lifestyle let's play, my rags to recycle. I have upgraded this and the balcony still works. Like I have a number of objects on here and it still works absolutely perfectly. And no Sims are actually using this door as my front door. So this mod seems to like fix the issue of the routing that the Sims team were having with it and which is why they originally decided to remove access to this balcony. You can do this for any object. So say if I wanted my Sim to be able to sit out here, let me just send her back inside and then let's pause the game. Let's shift click on this chair. We'll go toggle active object and then we'll use tool move active object here, boom. She could sit out in here if she wants to. Let's just move it back a little bit and then we'll shift click it, tool, toggle active object, have her come sit outside. You can do this with a sun lounger if you want your sim to be able to catch a few rays. I find it quite good for objects such as the solar panel or the rain collector because they're kind of objects that you would think to have outside. If you have seasons and you want to place a bee box out here, you can do so. And there's also an option to rotate as well. So as you can tell, that chair was rotated inside. If you shift click and hit tool, you can elevate it and you can move it. I don't ever really use these options, but you can also rotate it. And this is obviously on an axis of like 360, which is obviously a full circle. So say if something was in a corner and was facing the opposite way that I wanted it to, I could just put in 180 and it would just change on a 180 access and flip it around. All right, so this is my eco lifestyle household. And as you can see, this is the upgraded version. So we have a water collector, which is kind of squished into this corner here. Then I also have a solar panel, which is way better lined up than I just showed you in the tutorial. And then we also have a bee box. And the really nice thing about this upgraded door is the fact that this side isn't usable. Like your Sims only come out of this like two tile door. So this bee box is completely fine. Like it doesn't get in the way of anything. Like I can send my Sim to come and bond with these bees, but there we go. She's bonding with the bees. She's absolutely fine. Like there's no reason that she wouldn't be. And like I said, you can fit like probably a solar panel and a sun lounger out here if you wanted to. You definitely have to play around with it, like I said, but that is the easiest way to kind of fix the balcony. So big thank you to Twisted Mexi for this mod. An amazing, amazing modder if you haven't seen their stuff already. And once again, I am sorry to the console players who unfortunately this doesn't apply to you, but if you can download mods, if you have a PC that runs your game with at least this mod, then you should be able to fix the eco lifestyle balcony. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite mods are at the minute. And also if you need any questions answering, if this wasn't clear enough, or if you need something clearing up, then absolutely feel free to let me know down in the comments and I will try and get back to as many people as possible. Like I said, you don't need to use all of the settings. You can play around with them if you want to. Like if you want to place like monkey bars out in the middle of the world, I actually do want to do that on a couple of the like little neighborhoods in this world. Cause I do feel like there are a couple of objects like missing, which would have been really nice. So I think I'm going to do that. So if you watch my rags to recycle, you will probably see some of those in action, but I just wanted to show you about the balcony. I hope this video was helpful and thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye guys.